of YouTube? What is going on, everybody? We are hiking today. In the middle of nowhere. Back in West Virginia. Back in West Virginia, Bali, yeah. You know, we're out and about. I mean, we've been back for a while, obviously. But I think all you've seen between, besides Disney is food reviews. Yeah. So this is our first mm -hmm. actual outing. We are. We actually parked in Anstead, West Virginia, and we're going to walk down to the uh, Hawks Nest State Park, uh, the uh, reclaimed rail trail. Yeah, we're and, headed down uh, to where um, the tram comes down to the jet boats. Yeah. Jet uh, boats are not running right now um, due to Corona. Corona. But um, so jet boats aren't an option, but you can still catch the tram and go down. But we um, decided to be smart about it and drive three more miles and then park and walk four miles. So, uh, hold it's... Hold on, that, that bridge right there? Apparently that was an old, that was an old yeah, train bridge. That's a um, old train bridge. It's the oh. fact that it's a rail trail. Yeah. That means it used but to be railroad. The people, the people, the nice people at home may not know that. That's true. So, we're going to walk, you're going to watch, and we're all going to have a good time. So, thanks for coming along on this adventure. the camera so I just thought I'd show you Greg it's really cool man like the creeks down there but we hear rushing water from up here and it's wild and I don't know why that's something I'm gonna have to figure out it hasn't rained for days really around here um, which we're thankful for because it rained a lot there for a while and it's supposed to start raining again I think tomorrow but it's been very comfortable the humidity is low it's been cold at night i kind of feel fault yeah it's been like in the 50s so it's been good but let's just enjoy this shall we we were walking earlier i heard something over to the side and i didn't know what it was turns out it was all this water splashing down on the rock And right here, you can see it going across the path, down to the creek. Just worry about something to there. It's really pretty.
Mill Creek 1921 Collier Company. But that's the entrance to a coal mine back in the day. was telling you we didn't wimp out we're here right here in front of the coal mine but honestly when we switched back onto this little path it is pretty narrow and I was concerned about poison ivy because Hunter and I get poison ivy bad bad and so um I didn't used to when I was little but I guess your allergies change as you get older so now I get it really bad. And so there was only one place where I felt like I might run into it, but the path down here is not bad. So I suggest if you're on this rail trail, you definitely. The main path is up and there. there. Up in front of the branch. Hey, you can sit in that bench on the branch. <laughs> There's another bridge down there. That's really cool. Look how the water is going. That's a piece of water. That skyliner thing. I want to get one that has a good wrap on it though. I'm still disappointed that that skyliner thing is still on the back. No, it'll just leave there somewhere. I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are at the bottom. We made it. We did make it. I don't know if Greg showed you. We passed There's a the um, tram that comes from the lodge. That's a really back nice there, hunt. but we're gonna come down on it. Well, the property for this trail was given by the Imperial Coal Air Company in memory and in honor of all the miners who have worked in the coal scenes situate along in line between the New and Gauley Rivers of West Virginia. And as you all know, I grew up in New River Country. Across in the Hinton, where the New River and Greenbrier meet. We made it just in time. River Gorge Bridge, but and here's the gift shop, nature center, Whoa. and restrooms. So 
That's what's down here at the bottom. There's that same train. Of the tram. Yeah, it's the same train that we saw coming down. We got here. Everybody. this is me I'm editing the video um, we actually went back two weeks later because they had drained that reservoir right there at the bottom uh, there's a power plant downriver and they have viaducts that run from that reservoir where the tram station was and the gift shop that little uh, inlet area where the creek runs down into um, they actually have viaducts that run to the power plant to generate power uh, the water runs through the, I guess, the turbines and generates power. So they uh, have actually drained that uh, so they can check those viaducts for damage or anything like that. It hasn't been done in 80 years, so it's something pretty special. Uh, they actually shut down the tram. Uh, any driving down there was not allowed because of the heavy equipment. So, But I just wanted to let you know why it actually went from a full river to a drained reservoir. They actually, there's a dam, a small dam down the river, and they actually lifted, the, uh, opened all the gates and drained the river down to a lower level. So, that being said, here's what it looks like with no water.
video yet. Would you like me to tell you about my sandwich? Sure. So I got the pulled pork um, with um, pork chops and sweet barbecue sauce. And I put salt on it. And it was really good. That is what I can tell you about. I really like the barbecue sauce. It's very yummy and a lot. I mean, good portion of meat and stuff. Mac and cheese, yummy too. So I'm a pretty happy girl right now. Yeah. How was your burger? <laughs> Okay, so we just finished eating. Greg's still gonna have to tell you about his food. He does. Um, as I told you earlier, I really enjoyed my food, and I did. We're done now, and the mac and cheese was really good. Did you like the mac and cheese? Yeah. Yeah. And um, my sandwich, I told you it was pulled pork with um, really sweet, tangy barbecue sauce, which I really liked, and jalapenos and slaw. But what I didn't tell you was it had caramelized onions on it. and. That really was good too. So I really, really enjoyed my meal. And uh, I think Hunter, Hunter, it was a burger. Burger. Had some char grilled on it. That yeah. He's not big on char grill. We, Greg made chicken the other night and it had some char on it. He wasn't big on that, but, <coughs> but I mean, it was a burger. So he, the way he likes it. And uh, so I guess you just have left to hear from Greg about his food. So I'm sure we will put him in there's right now there's also well there's also oh. the country uh, corners there is a store over there well, we're corner probably store. not doing that today no probably not we are exhausted from the hike but chimney corner i think is worth the trip tell you, that, that hike three four hours maybe yeah i don't know we'll walk this way. three probably we'll walk back well, it was two almost two miles each way and it made us hungry i'll tell you that so all right we'll let Greg talk about his food now. Right now. Okay, Greg, tell us about your meal. We didn't hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear about my meal? Well, I have what they call the mountain burger, which was the burger with pulled pork and jalapenos on it and barbecue sauce. And the barbecue sauce was really, really good. I uh, also had mac and cheese. And, you know, it, 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 was, it was really good mac and cheese. Um, but the burger was really, really good. It, it was cooked well, char, had a good char on it. Um, you know, it's a neat little place and we'll tell you more about it here in a minute. Okay, everybody, we have eaten and we actually, this little place has been, it. huh? And we've told you about yeah. it. Yeah, uh, but this little place has been here for years and years and years. I've never stopped here and we've never in stopped. all my life. Nope. As many times as I've passed it, nope. I've always wanted to because it's just yeah. really neat. You've got yeah. this old country store over here, chimney corner. It's a gift shop. Crafts. Yeah. yeah. And then on this side was... Um, it's been a number of different the, things. Yeah. Chimney but, corner cafe yeah. now. And, and But yeah, it's, the service is nice. It's locally owned. and They built you know. decks on behind so there's yeah. more seating room than you really can tell as you drive by. And, and then a stage big for stage, live performers. Yep. And, yeah, and they yeah. had, as you heard or seen uh, earlier they had uh, they did have live music today yeah uh, they normally aren't open but since it is on labor monday day, yeah they're not open on monday yeah um but, but since it's labor day they decided to open and they've been busy all day long yeah so. smart in fact she said this whole labor day weekend has been extremely busy for them and that's that's really good now i will say when we first got here <laughs> um they were busy and they seated us and we waited we waited a long time we waited about 15 minutes 15 minutes before somebody even talked to us about drinks. Um, so it was a little long, but I think the food made up for it. Yep. And it was opinion. an oversight. It was an oversight. It was a communications problem. It, it, was a and, problem. it wasn't, uh, I don't think that's your norm. I think if you show up here, yeah. and even if that, if you wait that long like we did, I think it was worth it. It was worth it. Because yeah. the food was really good. Yeah. Um, did we ever talk about the potatoes? Oh, our appetizer. I don't think we did, yeah. Hunter. Um, we got, cheesy roasted potatoes and they yeah. were red potatoes roasted, roasted red potatoes with cheese and, and ranch dressing to dip and it in some kind of spice mix yeah on yeah it was but, really uh, good yeah. um i enjoyed that but um so i don't think it was out priced overpriced by any means because mm. i had a good portion of pork on my sandwich oh, yeah. um so how, 
It was forty dollars. Forty dollars for the three not, of us. Not including the tip. It was forty. It was right $40. at forty dollars. And we each had, you know, a sandwich and a side, and then we had the okay. appetizer and a drink. And he had a coke. He had a sprite. I had water. Yep. So I think the yeah. the price was fine. It's really a great atmosphere, a neat little atmosphere. It's, it's almost like you're eating outdoors. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it, under set under a picnic shelter. Yeah, they have yeah. they have the the main building, but then everything else is like a picnic shelter, and then you know a deck in front of the stage and yeah. so it's you know it's an open air type thing um so they're going to be closing december 31st That's the end of and the year. winterizing but then they're going to reopen um march 31st she said okay so and they'll have live music on the weekend so check it out if they have yeah. a facebook page i don't know if they do or not but we'll, we will link it if yeah. they do and we can find it we'll link it um but definitely if you're in this area um i don't know if we said where we were yeah, it's chimney corner in, chimney corner it's fayette what, county yeah fayette county it's uh in the in the mountains near hawk's nest right in the split of the road actually yeah. you choose to go um stay on 16 because like 16 well, over there it's kind of like hard to explain. Actually, it's 60 West. If you're going to Lewisburg, West, you would yes. stay on this. But if you wanted to go to Beckley, then you just veer off. But or Fayetteville. This is, or Fayetteville. And this is a, it's like a crossroads right here. It is a crossroads. So, That's what I was trying yeah. to say. I'll tell you, it's uh, the middle of everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 60, but it's in the Golly Mountains. 60 West is the yeah. same as 16 North. And it's about 10 and minutes 60. from Hawks Nest Lodge. Yeah. So, I mean, it's real, real, there's a lot of stuff to do around here. Uh, you know, so if you're in the area, stop. By, get Definitely you a stop by. Yeah. Their their menu is kind of limited, but to work for what what it was, their menu was really good. Yeah, if you're I just mean, they, it was looking it, for burgers yeah. or pulled pork. Yeah. They did have platters. They had two platters. They yeah. had a rib platter and a pulled pork platter. Yeah. They came with two sides, and I they didn't see everything dinner. else. Yeah. yeah. So I don't I don't really know because we weren't at that stage. We yeah. were we were thinking sandwiches. Yeah. So. But, but anyway, okay, so we are going back to Charleston now, and we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and hit that like button, because yeah. with the, the algorithms with the, uh, YouTube, that like button really helps us out and gets us out there. It really and you know what else helps us? Bell icon. I don't know if he's that hit. I did not. Okay, I'm Please hit the bell icon. And don't so you, forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and, and Twitter. Twitter. It's at Adventures with Swagger. Yeah. So we will see you guys on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.